Hello, welcome to part one of my 1989 Isuzu Trooper RS refurbishment series. Uh, when you last saw the rig in, uh, in the introduction, it was sitting on blocks at my mother-in-law's farm. Well, she uh, bought a condo in the city and is selling the farm, so it lit a little bit of a fire for me to get it home, get it in the shop, and get going on this project as I didn't have a place for it to just sit any longer. So, um, give you a little update here as to what's going on and we'll call this part one as I have actually uh, made a little bit of progress. So, let's check out what I got going on. So, like I said, it's home and in the shop, sitting on wheels and tires. Um, the engine is out of it, and it's been cleaned out. Uh, went through it once with a, with a vacuum real quick, just to make it so it's not a complete filthy mess to work on. Uh, nothing special. Found out about the interior. Uh, the, one of the rear seat belts has been cut back there i luckily have found a black replacement seat belt so shout out to my buddy ian for parting one of these out years ago and hanging on to trooper parts because he's got a, a seat belt for me so anyway the interior serviceable um it'll be fine <laughs> Actually, so when I, one of the first things I did when I got it home was pressure wash uh, underneath of it. It was on the trailer. I put it on my wheels, got it home, uh, got it pressure, you know, got it, put it back on blocks on my trailer to pressure wash it underneath of it. And uh, as I, you know, as I'm focusing on the ignition here, when I brought it home, I had no key for it. So I had to drill out the safety bolt on the where that holds the ignition to the steering column so I could drop the whole the whole ignition thing away from the steering column just to be able to steer it onto the trailer but lo and behold underneath it a hide a key fell out and voila I have a key so that's pretty good news for me because it means I can reuse the ignition that's on it um, and not have to swap out all the door locks so yay as you can see speaking of the doors the door is off of it uh, the hinges were really loose on it and somebody had forced the door open on it at the junkyard and uh, bent the door, the, the fender was mangled a little bit from when they set it out in the junkyard. So I've got the fender and the door off of it. I've got another fender to put on it. I'll just spray paint it black for the time being just to get this thing on the road. And uh, I think I can reuse the door. I'll straighten it out as best as possible. The door's not caved in. It's just a little tweaked on one end there. Um, as you can see, I got some nice new tires on it. I actually was able to find four RS wheels for it. And I dropped some money and bought the fact, what would have come on this from the factory, the 3110515 BFG ATs. These are the KO2s. Um, they're, I mean, they're a great tire. So I'm super stoked on that. But uh, uh they they're not the cheapest at i could have put on it but they match if anybody's got a fourth uh spare rs 15 inch wheel uh hit me up in the comments i'm i'm still searching for the a fifth one for my spare so but i got got lucky a guy across the state had these just happened he was coming to the airport and was able to meet me close to home so i was super stoked on that um, like I said, I, I, I pulled the, the block out and the head was sitting in the back of it at the junkyard. Um, the block looks pretty good. The head looks decent. Valves are nice. Uh, somebody's actually another trooper person that I've met recently is going to take this thing and, and rebuild it because I've got a, a running engine I'm going to throw into it. So it's the, the, the long block is going to get a second life too from the rs uh 
I pressure washed it underneath it before I brought it into the shop, pulled the block out of it, then rolled it back out of the shop, pressure washed it again in the engine compartment. And then I hit a lot of the lower stuff with a can of Krylon, painted up the steering gear nice. Uh, looked like the, you know, somebody had pulled the master cylinder on and it's missing. It looked like it was leaking. I painted that up nice. Uh, battery tray had a little bit of rust on it, painted that up. So got it looking pretty nice. Painted that radiator support there for the, the, I don't know what you want to call it anyway. Everything's got all painted up real nice, as best I could with a can of Krylon to make it look better when the motor goes in it. The donor car uh, is sitting in the garage right here, runs and drives great. Uh, so that's the engine that I'm going to use. There's the master cylinder that I need. Uh, between this car and my Horde, I've pretty much got everything that I need. Um, you know, there's a few things like somebody spray painted the RS bumpers black on this thing. So I'm going to try, you know, eventually hope to address those bumpers and get, get them the right color. Somebody, you know, the, the pin, the red pinstripes gone, address some little things like that. Rear, uh, rear leaf spring bushings are obviously sagged out now that I got it sitting on tires, uh. This parts car I know has a brand new set of leaf spring bushings in the back of it. So those, you know, once again, more donor parts shouldn't cost me a fortune to get this thing back on the road. I've never been through a state patrol inspection to get a car out of a junkyard before. So that'll be a new experience for me, but I'm going to try and get everything is right as I can. From what I've understood, it's kind of a safety inspection and an inspection to make sure it's not stolen. Um, it had this, the, the license plate light cover thing was all busted up on it. Uh, parts rigs got a nice one on it, so I pulled that off already. They drilled the gas tank on it at the junkyard, um, I, so I pulled the gas tank out of it. Uh, Lo and behold, somebody had put a brand spanking new Delphi fuel pump in it, likely chasing the issues that led to the head being off sitting in the back of this thing and this being at the junkyard. So it's, if your trooper's running rough and yesterday it was running awesome, boy, do a leak down test almost immediately because there's a good chance your 2.6 blew a head gasket. And somebody on this one definitely chased that problem. Uh, by the signs of the brand new fuel pump in it. Uh, pulled the tail lights off of it. Both of those were cracked. I've got a nice set of those around. So here's some, you know, I'm, I'm a long ways from getting this thing even to state patrol inspection, much less getting it mint. It's uh, windshield's got a big crack in it. I did have a, a new windshield seal that I threw in the back seat there show up. So this one's got a good windshield. I'll pull this windshield and slide a new one in. Um, so that's what's that's what's going on with it, and that's where I'm at right now. Just kind of getting rolling on it. Uh, made a little bit of progress. Uh, uh, the big progress is that it's home. It's in the shop. Uh, the parts car's parked right next to it, and uh, ready to ready to get going on it. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching.